welcome back. Um, I was talking about you know uh, a cross browser accountability test using your local server, and then uh, I'm focusing on the Internet Explorer uh, versus uh, Internet Explorer as a, as my target, which uh, uh, is the one that uh, gave me an issue, which that's why I'm sharing the idea today. Um, in, in part one, if you haven't watched my part one, just try to look at part one. I've said a lot in part one. So in part two, I'm just going straight uh, to the code and showing you uh, what uh, you really need to know about today. So now, uh, I'm going to the to my playground. What we are seeing here, uh, this is Internet for version 9. And then uh, this is what is rendered in Internet for 9. And then uh, actually, what I'm looking to get is something here. I know this picture might not be sharp. Sh this picture around here might not be sharp because of the type of the uh, the video uh, recorder I'm using. I don't know why that uh, is not happening. So please just bear with me. But what I'm trying to show there is a very good circle, and then very good circle, but it's not really showing the way I want it. But I believe you're gonna be at that, uh, with me. So moving forward. So I've already switched this now to six. So basically, how we do this? How we do this is that I'm just gonna pop in some information here so that uh, you can read. Uh, pop in this information here. And then what I'm trying to do today is just the simple method to do your cross browser compatibility test uh, using the local server is to define document compatibility and then switch the compatibility mode from one version of num uh, from one version to another, just like uh, what you are seeing here. So just like what you are seeing here, we'll be switching this, we'll be switching it, we'll be switching that from one version to another version, then we'll be previewing them uh, using the the browser that we we, we wanted to uh, we wanted to use. So um, then from there uh, we can we can be able to see actually what. Uh, we wanted to do so if I go to the live view now it's going to be opening a fresh page for me and then I'll be seeing this application in version 6 I'm doing that just within my local server I'm, I have not gone to any other platform in other way to view this uh, function I'm not paying for anything okay, fine I'm paying for the internet uh, broadband and whatever but can look I can see what I'll be saying if I'm using internet Explorer version 6 this is what I'm I'll be seeing instead of this so this is different this is Firefox and then in in internet Explorer version 6 this one how I'm going to be seeing so I go again now I'm going to change this to 7 Change this to seven. I'm gonna change that to seven. So I want to view again in seven and to see how this my application or what I've designed is going to look like in uh, Internet Explorer version seven. You can see this is what I'll be getting if I'm using Internet Explorer version 7. So if I go back again now, I want to see what how this application is going to look like in Internet Explorer 8. And uh, with that method, I can be able to view and now make changes so 
in Internet Explorer 8, this is what I'll be seeing in Internet Explorer 8. In Internet Explorer 8, it's having a shadow, but not perfect shadow like what I'll be expecting that perfect shadow to be to look like. So now let me change this to Internet Explorer version 9. I'm doing this without using anybody's server or without having have to pay for a penny and then i'll be testing all round all around the version the way i manner the way i want it just to just mere changing that uh, the compatibility mode from one number to another number from from one version to another version so this is what I'll be getting in, in Internet Explorer 9, which is similar to what I'm looking for, but it's not the perfect shadow that I'm looking for, but at the end of the day, it's giving me a good um, uh, boss shadow and rank corner. So that is Internet Explorer 9, this is Internet Explorer 8, and this is Internet Explorer uh, 7, and this is Internet Explorer 6. So you can see the difference. Six, seven, eight, nine. So now this is the problem. So if you design this application for somebody, and then you that you design that web application, you can see this. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, this is cool. This is perfect. But the person that is other users that are using six. This is what they're going to see. If they are, they are using seven, this is what they're going to see. If they are using eight, this is what they're going to see. If they are using nine, this is what they're going to see. So, how do you come? How do you make this problem now? You want to solve this. You want to solve this problem so that six will be the same thing with nine will be the same thing across. So now, what we need to do now is to start thinking about solution, and then the first solution that I could lay my hand on is going to be to leave this as it is right so that according to the information according to this information here um, there's information here from the Microsoft that if he said that if that is if you want that to be rendered in the in that uh, mode, then we will leave this uh, document uh, com 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 the, 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 the compatibility mode in that version nine. So you say if you leave it in nine, the web page is display it is, is display in nine standard mode, and then or you can you also use this uh, Internet Explorer equal to emulate Internet Explorer nine. So if the web page specify a standard base which is this document type directive the page is display in internet for a name mode otherwise it is going to display in internet for a five mode i did not run the internet for a five but i could also do that but at the end of the day i'm just going to stop at six not to waste most of the time so what's happening now is that if you change that version to the oldest version you're going to get them as the way you want them if you if you design an application for a company that they will, they will be only using they will only be using uh internet for eight then you might as well want to leave this as eight if you for for seven you might as well want to leave as seven that is solution number one now solution number two is that you might you you just you might want to remove this and then go now to the if you if you go to the um to the uh what's it called to the internet we can search for some information right so i want solution i want for information that we go i'm going to look for is to look for this information that i gather from this website uh which i'll show you here uh that is when I had this uh, compatibility issue, so I went to this website. The website name is uh, 
Sisa to reply.